Hello, this is Sue from Tutormate. I thought you might like to hear a story today. And the one I've chosen for us is The Lucky Hat. And it's written by a lady called Anne Haas. So have a look and see what this is about, shall we? You can wear my lucky hat. Kyle held out a red baseball cap. The edges were grey and grubby. David raised his eyebrows. Really? Kyle shrugged. You need it. It's an important bike race. Wow. David took the hat. He ran his fingers along the visor. Thanks. I won't lose it. Kyle shrugged. Don't worry. It's lucky. It always turns up. Just don't wash it. It might lose some of the luck. David smiled. I promise. He pulled on the cap. I'll take good care of it. He hopped on his bike. I know. Kyle waved. Good luck. I'll see you there. David touched the cap one more time. I'll give it back right after the race. There we are. Look at the start line. Can you see? All lined up. Start sign there, look, and there's somebody in number five, and somebody in number seven, and somebody in number, what's this? That's right, number eight. He rode toward the track. He couldn't lose now. He had trained hard for this race. Spike shone like new. With the red hat, he was sure to win. The riders lined up. Your marks. The coach yelled. David's stomach rolled. Get set. David touched the brim of the lucky hat. He gripped the handlebars. Go! David went. He pulled ahead of the other riders. The red hat felt snug. The wind raced past. David saw the finish line. He pedalled harder. He was ahead. He crossed the finish line. David won! Hey! You can see him there, look, punching in the air just as he breaks through the finish line. Looks very happy, doesn't he? He wheeled his bike to a bench and sat down. The hat had worked. He took it off and set it beside him. He was hot and tired, but he was happy. Come and get your ribbon, David, Coach Masters called. David ran to the coach. He returned to the bench with his reward. Can you see what it is? Look, he's got a little trophy there with a bike on the top. He reached for Kyle's lucky hat. His hand stopped above the seat. <gasps> the hat was gone. Oh, my goodness me. It's sad now, doesn't he? I'm a bit worried. It's a shame. David felt the top of his head. He looked under the bench. He looked at the people around him. No one was wearing the red cap. Where on earth it's gone? It's not good news, is it? Kyle had trusted him with his lucky hat. David had lost it. He looked in the rubbish bins and under picnic tables. He looked behind trees and in bushes. The hat had vanished. Yeah. You're a winner, David, Coach Masters drove away. David didn't feel like a winner. He felt like a loser. What would he tell Kyle? Oh, my goodness. David trudged home. His mum had made his favourite dinner. He barely tasted it. He brushed his teeth and went to bed. All night, David tossed and turned. Have you ever done that when you've been worried about something or if you've lost something? No, I certainly have. You can't get to sleep, can you? The next day, he went straight to the playground. Kyle was surrounded by a group of boys. David slowly walked towards him. And all because of this, Kyle was saying. He lifted his hand. David's mouth dropped open. Kyle was holding his lucky hat. 
David raced to his side. Your hat, he yelled. Where did you find it? You left it for me next to your bike. Kyle put on his hat. David shook his head. I thought I'd lost it. No, Kyle laughed. See, he really is lucky. It always turns up. And so it did. Now everybody's smiling and happy again. And perhaps David might be able to get to sleep tonight, do you think, and enjoy his dinner. I hope you enjoyed that story. Have a good day. Bye-bye for now.